And good evening. A whale, a sunken boat, and four men from Wisconsin. Who would have thought they would come to the rescue after another boat was sunk by a whale? And this all happened in the middle of the Pacific Ocean near the Polynesian Islands. New at 6, our Julia Fellow shares their amazing rescue. It was the trip of a lifetime on the South Pacific Ocean for these four with ties to Muskego and Elkhorn. They were on board Jeff Stone's boat, the Rolling Stones, headed from the Galapagos Islands to French Polynesia. That passage is 30, roughly 3,200 miles. It's about a 21 day sail on average. Halfway in, plans took a turn. They learned of a mayday call from a captain of a boat that had been hit by a whale. <laughs> sounded like something broke and uh, we immediately looked to the side and we saw a really big whale bleeding. The boat was sinking. It was just um, an incredible amount of water coming in. I felt like it was just a scene out of a movie. All four on board hopped into this life raft and waited for help. 65 miles away in the South Pacific Ocean, Jeff's crew realized they were the closest boat. They pulled their cheese heads together, coming up with a plan to get them in the middle of the night, which was not easy thousands of miles from land, I, I don't think we could have drawn it up much better. They were in great spirits and they, uh, very calm and collected. So how were four men from Wisconsin so ready to take on this nine hour rescue mission in the middle of the ocean? The captain says it's all thanks to first learning how to sail right here on Lake Michigan. That's where we got our first taste of big water, I guess. On Lake Michigan, we did some sailing on uh, out of McKinley there. The daredevils also love to water ski on Little Muskego Lake. But the story of saving a group of people whose boats sank because a whale slammed into it takes the cake. We left the whale jokes till probably day eight. I really couldn't imagine the second half of our trip being any better. I mean, it, it, mm -hmm. it was pretty incredible. It would have been weird. I know. <laughs> Julia Fellow, TMJ4 News. My goodness, what a story. Now, Jeff usually lives on the boat for most of the year with just his wife and three children. They homeschool. They come back to their home in Muskego when it's warm. You know, I often cover these stories where it's just this amazing amount of luck of someone being at the right place at the right time. What an incredible journey, you know, and to be able to get to these folks within nine hours. It's uh, they should make a movie about that. Well, anyway, if you think about it, nine hours in the middle of the Pacific right. Ocean. I mean, yeah. that uh, that Lake in Mission, and of itself. Yeah. Lake Michigan alone <laughs> right. would have been uh, a big rescue. Yes. Well, congratulations. Yeah.